you want to say something to your schoolmates? Maybe we can use this video for school. How about you, Emma? Those are like monkey bars, huh? See those? Those are all actual controls used to monitor the rockets. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Courtney, and welcome to the Firing Room Theater. We do ask that there be no smoking and no flash photography during the presentation. And if you need to leave the show at any time, please do so by using one of the three double doors on your right. This is the firing room, launch control for the Apollo mission. This is not a mock-up. These are the very consoles we sat at when men first took off to fly to the moon. The tragedy of Apollo 1 had put us a year and a half behind. We were making up for it in one big leap, and we were doing it with a rocket that no man had ever flown before. It was a few days before Christmas, 1968, when Apollo 8 sat on the pad. She was the first of a new kind, a moon rocket. This was the Phoenix, risen from the ashes of Apollo 1. The first Apollo crew did not die in vain. This was to be their testament.
Okay. Stay, stay up here, okay? Walking. Okay. 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 Okay.
but it was the hundreds of thousands of men and women who worked in that team and the millions of people who supported the mission that really made it possible. That way, I guess, we all went to the moon. Now, uh, on the other side of those doors, you'll find an actual Saturn V moon rocket. It's still the most powerful, the most complex machine ever built. And I guess it's the only one that can take you to another planet. I actually got to fly one on a second flight to the moon called uh, Apollo 13. But uh, that's another story. <laughs> Please.